Hello friends, in this video, today we're gonna solve uh, Mathematical Physics uh, question paper 2021 said by Deprivary University of Physics So this is part one Okay, because I will complete this paper in uh, three or four videos. This is part one, right? So this is for first semester BSc first semester BSc first semester so here is the first question so the correct answer the direction of grade 5 is always so that's going to be always perpendicular to the surface phi is equal to constant right so suppose if you have a phi as a function uh, scalar function x comma y comma z and uh, it represents suppose phi is equal to c represents uh, surface then if you find the grid phi then it always going to be normal to this surface right <coughs> then uh, let's move on to next question so here you see let me clean these things okay so the next question is the order of the order the order and degree of the differential equation so here you see that the differential equation is this this is the given differential equation so three y is equal to zero so this is the differential equation now you see if you see the differential coefficient so this is the differential coefficient of highest order this is of order 2 and this is of order 1 so we have to consider the highest order differential coefficient this is of order 2 that's why order is 2 and uh, here you can see the power on this differential coefficient of order 2 is 1 right so let me show you so here so this is the highest order differential coefficient we have in this equation and here the power is 1 so that's why it's uh, its degree is 1 right so correct option is 2 so order is 2 degree is 1 right so here we have got two differential coefficients one is this another is this so power on this one this is 2 and it is of first order this differential coefficient is of first order but uh, this is of second order so we have to consider the highest order differential coefficient so that is of second order so order is 2 and uh, power on this uh, highest order differential coefficient is 1 that is why uh, degree is 1 so hope you have understood this question so now let me clean these things so or correct option is the second second order first degree right so now this divergence of a behaves like that behaves like a scalar quantity right so divergence of a vector is always scalar quantity remember that now let us solve question number two here you can see uh, here we need to prove that this function is not differentiable at x is equal to 1 right so let me write the given function so first uh, note these things that f of x this function is differentiable at a given point x is equal to a if left hand uh, derivative equal to right hand derivative right left hand derivative can be uh, determined by limit h tends to 0 of f of a minus h minus f of a divided by minus h and right hand derivative is limit h tends to 0 where f of a plus h and minus f of a divided by plus h now given function is f of x is equal to mod of x minus 1 where x belongs to r so this uh, mod function can be expressed as x minus 1 when x minus 1 is greater than equal to 0 that means you can say x is greater than equal to 1 and minus negative of x minus 1 when x minus 1 is less than 0 or you can say x is less than 0 right 
sorry one not zero okay these are the two conditions uh, and their corresponding values are this so hope you have understood this now let us find the left hand derivative and right hand derivative okay if they are equal then they, it is differentiable at x is equal to one otherwise they are not uh, this is not differentiable so here at x is equal to one left hand derivative so here is you see so for the left hand derivative so you see this is the point x is equal to one suppose right so left hand derivative on the left hand side that's uh, x must be less than one uh, uh, that means we have to take this point right and for right hand derivative for x greater than one so this is the right hand side right so we have to take this value now you see <coughs> f of a minus s so here our a is x is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 this is the value of a so this is the value of a x is equal to 1 compare with x is equal to a right so f of a minus s that means we're gonna put 1 minus s f of 1 minus s minus f of a that means f of 1 here divided by minus s so if you find this then what will happen so 1 minus is we have to put this value here you can see uh, this replace this x by 1 minus is then what you will get f of 1 minus is minus uh, here you see so minus minus 1 minus is minus 1 is equal uh, minus 0 uh, here f of 1 is 0 if you put here 1 if you replace this x by 1 then you will get 0 that's why we are uh, putting f of 1 is equal to 0 right so hope you have understood this now limit a tends to 0 so here on opening the bracket we have got minus 1 plus a is plus 1 then minus a 1 plus 1 cancel so we have got limit a tends to 0 a is by minus a is that's going to be minus 1 right so that's going to be equal to minus 1 so we have got the left hand derivative is equal to minus 1 let's find the right right hand derivative so right hand derivative will be limit a tends to 0 f of now put a plus a is. use a plus a is. use this formula right for right hand derivative so f of so now we are going to take this value here you can see we are going to take x minus 1 now replace the x replace this x uh, by this value 1 plus is uh, 1 plus is replace this x then uh, minus f of 1 so we are going to put here 1 also to get f of 1 we are going to put 1 here instead of x we are going to put to get f of 1 right divided by a so putting those values here uh, in the function that uh, s tends to 0 f of uh, sorry uh, when you put uh, let me clean this part look at this uh, this was the function right here we had x minus 1 so now you see when you replace this x by 1 plus a then what you get 1 plus a minus 1 then minus when you replace this x by 1 then you will get f of 1 right this f of 1 so f of 1 will be 0 here uh, so divided by a so here minus 1 plus 1 cancels right so this minus 1 plus 1 cancel then we have got limit a tends to 0 a by a that's going to be equal to uh, plus 1 right that's going to be equal to 1 so since left hand derivative is not equal to right hand derivative because we have got left hand derivative is equal to minus 1 and right hand derivative we have got plus 1 that's why they are not equal that's why this given function this given function f of x is not differentiable at the point x is equal to 1 so hope you have understood this now let's move on to next uh, question right. so our next question is what are linear and non-linear ordinary differential equations give examples so what do you mean by linear uh, ordinary differential equation so this is the definition here you see linear differential uh, equation a differential equation of the
form dy by dx py uh, equal to q is called linear differential equation uh, where p and q are the functions of x but not of y and or constant they may be functions of x and may be constant right uh, so, so this is the example of linear ordinary differential equation right so here this is p and this is q right so let me put another uh, put a word here so it is called linear ordinary differential equation right so this is the definition now what is non-linear ordinary differential equation uh, that is here you see this is non-linear differential equation so i forgot to put the word ordinary right ordinary so a differential equation containing non-linear function of the dependent variable or its derivative is called non-linear ordinary differential equation non-linear ordinary differential equation for example uh, this is a non-linear ordinary differential equation now now let us solve question number four here you are asked to solve any one but i'm going to show you both right so let me show you the first one so this is the first equation x square plus y square dy is equal to x y dx so let me arrange this equation as this uh, in this form so dy by dx is equal to x y by x square plus y square right so here putting y is equal to vx if you differentiate it with respect to x if you differentiate it uh, with respect to x then you're gonna get that v x dv dx right uh, if you use the product rule here now so from this equation if you put these values here you will get v plus x dv dx uh, dv by dx is equal to x square v by x square plus y square so you're gonna get this uh, is not y square b square x square x square into b plus x square plus divided by x square plus b square x square right so you're gonna get this so from here you see you can take x square common you can take x square common then they are going to get cancel each other right uh, then so this will be our equation so if you apply the variable separable method here then our equation is reduced to this form and if you simplify this you will get this right so now so here we have applied the variable separable method right so we have separated the variables p separately and x separately we have arranged right then let us integrate this right if you integrate this then what you will get so now you see uh, what we have done we can write this uh, uh, sum of these two integrals right so 1 plus v square by v cube that can be written as 1 by v cube plus v square by v cube that's going to be so it can be written as v to the power minus 3 and here v square cancels v cube to get v so 1 by v so you will get this expression right so hope you have understood this how we have got this expression now you see if you integrate then what you will get after integration you're gonna get v, v to the power minus 2 by minus 2 uh, 1 by v that's gonna be log v plus uh, sorry equal to minus log x uh, plus c so now you see uh, if you put uh, the values of y again y is equal to vx right uh, so from y is equal to vx you get uh, v is equal to y by x if you use this value here in this equation then what you will get uh, then it 
then you will get uh, this uh, equation will be reduced to this form right after putting the value of v here v is equal to so we have replaced the v by y by x so just if you if you put the value of v y by x then you're gonna get this equation right so after simplification we have got this so here minus log x minus log x cancel these two terms cancel here so you see this is your answer so this is your answer so now you see if you if you change the sign here in this equation you you, you see if you make this minus to positive and uh, this log v negative and this log x positive right so then your answer will be of this form both answers are correct answer will be of this form okay. if you get this answer that is also correct right so if you get this answer that is also correct this answer is also correct so don't be confused okay so now let us solve the next equation right so let me go to the next slide so this is the equation uh, next equation given so let me uh, write here let me use the variable separable method here so separating the variables we have got this form now let us integrate both sides so we have got this so here we are going to apply the partial fraction this x is written as x plus 1 minus 1 right so we have applied here partial fraction so then what are you gonna have so derivative of 1 by y square uh, 1 by 1 plus y square dy that's going to be equal to 10 inverse y that's a formula of integration right hope you know these things and uh, so here x plus 1 by x plus 1 is 1 1 into dx is dx so integration dx so integration dx will be um, minus 1 again integration uh, 1 by x plus 1 right 1 by x plus 1 dx right so if you integrate dx you get x integrating dx we have got x and integrating this one will be equal to log of 1 x plus 1 or 1 plus x whatever you write plus c so this is your answer okay that's how we can solve so we have solved how many questions today uh, we have solved up to this question number 4a right so from the next uh, in the next video we're gonna start from question number 4b right in the next part second part so hope you have understood uh, these things uh, what uh, we have explained to i have explained today so if you have understood please share the video with your friends and uh, if you uh, if you think that uh, this is very helpful then hit the thumbs up button and if you are new to my channel then subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded so thank you for watching and see you in the next video